for Rusty. Uh, Rusty, some have questioned whether you can properly serve on both the school board and the selectmen at the same time. Um, what do you say to uh, those critics? What I'd say to those critics is there's no law or anything that says I can't do that, first of all. And second of all, it, bring, it allows me to bring a, uh, some of my experience that I've had on the school board over the past uh, two terms, and it brings that to uh, working on a, on a board that is a policy board, so I do have that experience. Uh, like I said, uh, both boards don't interact really with each other. They're, they're both policy boards, so that they don't have control over each other. So there is no, no, uh, no problem or compromise for, for doing it. Thank you, Mr. Bridal. Question for everyone, and this could be a yes and a no. Um, what is your position on the petition warrant article, which calls for the town to stop picking up commercial trash? Mr. Bridal, I am opposed to that. To um, the, the newcomers, so n not Mr. Pearson, not Mr. Nichols. Um, Antagonism, no civility, a lack of respect, those are the words that Ben Moore used to describe the tenor of the Board of Selectmen when he resigned from the Board in June. Um, do, do you believe that that's accurate? You know, everybody that, that, that runs for this position or who has served in this position does so basically as a volunteer. And they are, and so I respect everybody that, that has been a Selectman or wants to be a Selectman because it does take a lot. But you do have to have a, that ability to work together with people. You do have to have that ability. In Concord, I was a, a, a state rep for 10 years. I was a committee chair for, for six of those years. And one of the things that both sides of the aisle would say to me is, at least when we come to your meetings, at least you give us a chance to speak. You may not always agree with us, but you give us a chance to speak and be heard. And that's all anybody wants to be had, is treat each one with respect, with civility, and work together, and you can accomplish anything. Thank you. Uh, for the newcomers first, um, do, you do you agree with the priorities the board has displayed over the past year? If not, where would you have focused your energy? The board that was here it was dealt with what they were given. Uh, so they've had to move forward with what they did. Uh, so not ever being on the board of selectmen, I can't speak to how they did that. However, moving forward, there are some issues that we do have to look forward in this town. You know, we have to look at our roads. Our road infrastructure I is failing terribly. Uh, we have to do something about a senior center. Well, not more or less a senior center, but more, more apt to a community center. We have to start looking at that. We've, we've talked about this for years in town. We've worked, you know, we looked at it years in town. We've had articles that have been put in that really weren't thought out well. But the seniors are, are looking for that. They need to have something at it. So we need to look at that, and we need to start working at that. How that happens, I don't know. We need, we need maybe to look at some partnership with our, with our schools or the library, or uh, they're both looking for space. I know the library is looking for space. Uh, the, the school department is looking at uh, remodeling the middle school and putting in an addition on there. So uh, maybe there's something there we can look at and work with them. But we got to start working at it. We can't just keep talking about it. Thank you, Mr. Rudd. Brief answers, and I just uh, the Massachusetts U.S. senators and six of its eleven U.S. representatives uh, recently sent a letter to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission recommending that basically that the license um, for a Seabrook station not be renewed into um, they deal with their concrete degradation problem. Is this an issue that Hampton should get involved in? I leave it to the Nuclear Regulatory Committee. They're the ones that have to deal with that. They're the ones that are supposed to be there to protect us. Again, uh, when it comes to uh, how they uh, value their, their tunnels and stuff, that's a different story. I think we need to look at that. Good question. Uh, yeah. Now that the old courthouse and old town hall has been torn down, uh, what would you like to see that land used for? I think it's going to, that, that piece of land is going to take uh, a while to figure out what we're going to have to do with that. Uh, I, I can see we, we, we do have an issue with the library looking for more space. We do have an issue with, with uh, the middle school looking at making. Uh, an addition over there, so how they're going to do that, and we have a concern about a, uh, a senior or community center. So uh, I could see any number one of those, um, but it might be something that benefits all three of them. Work together. Maybe we can have it so that it works together and they all benefit. Um, would you support a ballot initiative to allow bars in Hampton to push back last call from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m.? I think 1 a.m. Is, is late enough. I think uh, we, we need to be cognizant of the people that also live down the beach and that, that come down there for, uh, for staying in the, in the motels. And I, th I think 1, 1 p.m. is late enough. So I'm going to ask each of the candidates to, if they, if they would like, um, 
give us some closing remarks, a minute or two, uh, about why they're running, why they would like to be elected uh, as a uh, as a selectman to the board of selectmen. All right. First of all, I want to thank you guys for for putting this on today. I think it was a uh, it was a well done, well represented. Uh, the questions were very good. Um, I've lived in Hampton all my life. As, as you might have seen my buttons, it says Hampton is my home. You know, uh, and I know Hampton's a lot of people's home. But I truly believe Hampton is my home. I grew up here. I spent 30 years on the fire department here serving the people of Hampton. I've been on the school board. I've been on uh, a state rep. I understand the people of Hampton. We still have families in this town that are struggling to make it financially. We have to keep it concerns about them. We still have to make sure that our businesses grow and flourish. All I can say is, you, you know who I am, and I ask for your vote on March 11th. Thank you.